If you just got your first Mac, it might feel like a whole new world. But don't worry, I've got the perfect map to guide you through it. We're going on a quick journey through five levels, each one building on the last. By the end, you'll see that using a Mac is way easier than you think. Let's kick things off with level one. Getting familiar with your Mac's desktop, the menu bar, and the dock. This is your foundation. All right, let's start at ground zero, the desktop itself. Unlike a PC where each app has its own floating menu, Mac OS keeps things clean with one single menu bar locked at the top of the screen. When you switch apps, this menu bar dynamically updates with relevant options for the app you're in. But there's one menu that never changes, the Apple menu on the far left. Think of this as your system control base. From here, you can shut down or restart your Mac, force quit buggy apps, or jump straight into settings. Now glance over to the right side of that menu bar. This is the status area. Here's where you can check your battery level, Wi-Fi connection, and date and time, but it gets even better. Click on the control center icon. Here you'll find quick controls like audio playback, sound outputs, and Bluetooth settings. The best part? It's customizable. Hold the command key and you can drag any control directly onto the menu bar. In system settings, control center, you can even add extras like a low power mode toggle, a built-in Shazam button, or your current weather. Oh, and don't forget, clicking the time brings up Notification Center, where you'll see your app notifications and add remove widgets. Let's talk Dock. It's not just a place for apps, it's a multi-tool. First, click on Launchpad to see all your installed apps. You can drag any app from there into the dock for easy access. Out of the box, you'll notice the Downloads folder already pinned to the right side. But guess what? You can pin any folder or document to that same area. When you click a folder, it'll expand. Right-click it to choose how you want it displayed. Grid, Fan, or List View. Pro tip. Drag a file and drop it onto a folder in the dock to move it there. You can also drag files straight onto app icons. Drop a photo onto the Photos app to import it or a PDF onto the mail icon to create a new email with that file attached. Now that you know your way around, let's step into level two, where things get real. It's time to master window management and stop your screen from turning into a mess. Now that you've got the layout, let's move into managing windows. This is where most new Mac users start questioning everything. First off, clicking the red button closes the window, but it doesn't quit the app. The app keeps running in the background. To fully quit it, go to the menu bar and click quit or just press Command plus Q. If you just want to hide the app without quitting it, hit the yellow button, or press Command plus M to minimize it into the dock, or press Command plus H to hide the app from view entirely. You can always bring it back by clicking its icon in the dock. Click the green button to enter full screen. It hides the menu bar and dock, but you can bring them back by moving your mouse to the top or bottom of the screen. Click the green button again to exit full screen. But hold on a second. Does this desktop look a little too perfect? Yeah, that's one. A real Mac desktop with a few windows, a messy download or two, maybe a screenshot from two months ago. Feeling overwhelmed? Oh, don't worry. Level three is all about keeping your cool. We're unlocking Stage Manager, the tool that brings instant order to digital chaos. All right, level three. You ever have so many apps and windows open that your desktop feels like it's straight up on fire, like productivity blazing, but also slightly out of control? Yeah, Stage Manager is how you cool things down without losing the heat. It's tucked away in the control center, and when you switch it on, it instantly organizes your open windows along the left side, wow. while keeping whatever you're working on front and center. The point is, you can stay locked in on one task, while still seeing everything else at a glance. And don't worry, all your usual multitasking tricks still work. Command plus tab, full screen, mission control. They're all right at home in Stage Manager. It's the cleanest, calmest way to stay productive, even when your Mac's workflow is on fire. All right, your desktop's in check. Now let's make your Mac work even smarter. Level four is all about spotlight search, your shortcut to everything. All right, time for level four, and this one's underrated. Meet Spotlight Search, easily one of the most powerful tools on your Mac, and most people barely touch it. Just press Command plus space, and boom, you've got a universal search bar that can find basically anything. Need to open an app? Type its name. Looking for a document, email, 
or even text inside a document. Spotlight will find it. You can also use it to toggle system settings, get unit or currency conversions, search notes or reminders, or even just do math right there in the bar. But here's the pro move. Type in any question, hit command, plus B, and Spotlight will instantly launch a Google search for it in your default browser. Fast, clean, and crazy useful. Nice. Once you get used to Command Plus space, it's hard to live without it. You've made it to the final level, and this one's low-key a superpower. In level five, we're unlocking the hidden power of the MacBook trackpad. Level five is all about the most underrated feature on any MacBook, the trackpad. If you're only using it to click and scroll, you're missing out. Swipe up with three fingers to open Mission Control. Swipe left or right with three fingers to switch between full screen apps. Swipe two fingers from the right edge to open Notification Center. In Safari or Chrome, swipe left or right with two fingers to go back or forward between web pages. And pinching with five fingers? That opens Launchpad instantly. Now, before you get too comfortable, let's tweak a couple settings to make it even better. Head to System Settings, then Trackpad and turn on tap to click so you don't have to press down for every click. And while you're there, increase the tracking speed. Because let's be honest, the default is way too slow for anyone who's not a robot. With these gestures and settings, your Mac suddenly feels faster, smoother, and way more intuitive. And that's it, five solid levels, each one building your Mac skills from the ground up. You've gone from navigating the basics to organizing like a pro, staying focused with Stage Manager, searching smarter with Spotlight, and mastering those hidden trackpad gestures that most users never touch. Your Mac isn't just easier to use now, it's way more powerful. If this helped, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to GuideNest, and stick around. We've got more Mac tricks and hidden features coming up next. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your new setup.